The team of the year promo is dropping in about 48 hours in Madden 23, and in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how the promo works, as well as what you guys can be doing to prepare today. Now, Soul Souls are family, and welcome back to another Madden 23 video. Hope you watching this are having a wonderful start to your day, and without further ado, let's get started by giving some context about how team of the year works in this game. Now, team of the year is probably one of the most simple promos in this game. Every single position in Madden 23 is going to be getting a card, so quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and so on and so forth. And basically the way these cards work is they're supposed to be the best players at their position in the previous season in the NFL. So let's say for example, we're doing like edge rusher, well, Miles Garrett, TJ Watt, those would be some cards that would probably get upgrades. And EA Sports actually changed up the way the team of the year promo works a little bit instead of them deciding like, okay, TJ Watt is going to be getting an outside linebacker card. Instead, what they did is now they would give us like five options and we would actually be picking which card got that team of the year upgrade. And the way those selections were done was by making some votes on EA Sports' website. Now, I do believe that that voting has already closed, but we're going to be seeing the results from said voting and seeing the cards revealed tomorrow, and then the cards will actually release in the game on Thursday morning. Now, other important context that you guys got to know. Firstly, I am expecting these cards will be 98. I believe it got confirmed by EA Sports that they actually will be 98, so I'm expecting a 98 overall quarterback, running back, wide receiver, corners that are 98, and that basically means we're going to be getting players that are the best of their position by a mile. So, expect to see some pretty sick cards drop it on Thursday. I'm really excited. And then EA Sports also gives cards to like slot receiver, a uh, kick returner, punt returner, as well as I believe like slot corner, rush defensive tackle, but those are going to be 97. So don't expect those guys to be as good. But again, even more cards coming. So yeah, we're going to be getting like 30, 97 pluses on Thursday. It is a massive content drop. It is one of the biggest days in the year. And in my opinion, I'm a massive fan of team of the year. Like team of the year, whenever we get that promo is always one of my favorites for me personally. I really enjoy using like current day players like I'd much rather use like Joe Burrow than Joe Montana But that's just my personal preference now before we move on to a couple other pieces of context about how the promo works As well as some other stuff you guys can do to prepare. Let's quickly talk about underdog fantasy I'm wearing their t-shirt right here and they're a place where you guys can make higher or lower game picks for NBA For NHL and for MLB that's starting soon now the app is really simple You basically just click the higher or the lower for certain stat projections And if you get some correct you're gonna win money if you end up up making five picks and get all of them correct, you're going to 20x your money. Again, if you guys want to check out the app, I will leave it linked in the description. Basically, download Underdog Fantasy from the App Store or the Google Play Store and use the promo code SWIFT, S-W-I-F-T, as you're signing up to get your first deposit matched up to 100 bucks, giving you some free cash on the app. We love to see it. Now, getting back on track, let's talk about a couple other pieces of information that I think you guys are going to want to know, then we'll transition into preparation. Now, the first thing is that with Team of the Year in the past couple of years, not only have we been getting like regular cards, but we've also gotten some LTDs. I believe last year, uh, Debo Samuel got an LTD player, and that card was one overall above everyone else. So you know what? This could be a little bit of an outlandish take, but maybe we see a 99 overall LTD team of the year player. Assuming most of the cards are 98s, if they give out an LTD and they have it like one overall higher than the regular cards, which is what they did last year, hey, that could end up being a gold 99. That could be kind of cool. Again, not 100% sure if that's going to be happening, but if we see that tomorrow get revealed, don't be so surprised, because I think that could actually be in the game. Now, otherwise, the two other most important things to mention, and this is going to kind of translate into our preparation stuff in just a second. Firstly, in past years, I believe the last three years of Madden, there has been a team of the year reroll. Now, when I say team of the year reroll, I'm not talking about like an 89 plus reroll where, oh, maybe we got a team of the year or maybe we get a scrub 89 overall. No, the way that those rerolls worked is very simple. It was a guaranteed team of the year player, and you are guaranteed to get one of the big boy cards in this game. Now, with that reroll, that has some massive ramifications ramifications on the market. We'll talk about that in just a second as we move on to preparation tips in a second here. But in order to kind of set the stage for how these preparation tips are going to work, you guys got to know that we probably will be getting a team of the reroll. And the way that the sets work in this game as well to get these players is not like regular sets. Like usually if we take a look at here and we want to get like a combine master, what we got to do is we got to put in some combine players in this game. So we'd have to put in like some 95s to get this 97. But with team of the year, that's kind of a different promo. So the way that those sets work are more similar to team builders. And that's important for other preparation tips we'll be talking about in a second, but they're more similar to these sets where you got to put in some like random 90 to 91, some random 86 to 87. So we'll see what EA Sports does with that set. But in past years, it's usually been like a variety of cards ranging from like an 86 to a 94. Uh, EA Sports has done it differently in past years. Sometimes it'll be like some 90 to 91, some 92 to 93s and some 88s to 87s. Uh, sometimes they make it like 91s to 92s. 
93s to 94s. They kind of change up how they do it. But again, it's important to know that that is how the sets are probably going to be working unless they throw us a crazy curveball. Want to open up packs with better odds than EA Sports gives you? Well, check out mudpacks.com to open up packs, win coins, and withdraw them directly to your account. And of course, use code SWIFT as you're checking out the site for 15% off. Now, how can we prepare for this promo? Well, there's a couple things I'm going to talk about. There's kind of a section in the video here where I'll go over what you can do to prepare if you want to like actually take action. And the second one is something I still recommend you do, but it's a way of preparing without really doing much. And it's kind of easier for anyone watching this video. Let's start it off with this second piece right here, which is how you can prepare without doing much. And it's something I would really recommend everyone do. Now, really the main point that I'm going to try and drive home right here is we're going to be holding on to our training. We're going to be holding on to our cards for the next two days. Now, reason being is because like I said before, if we get a training reroll or if we get a set in the game that requires like 90s and 91s, it is important that you either have training or you have those players readily available. Because what I'm expecting to happen is I'm expecting the market to go up a little bit for those types of cards. Remember when we got team builders in this game just a couple days ago, the 90 to 91 market skyrocketed in price. So the way we're kind of going to be preparing right here is by simply holding on to our players. Let's say, for example, I go to my binder right here and I've got like some 90 to 91, some 88s, whatever it may be. If you have any card in your binder ranging from an 88 to a 94, I would recommend you hold on to that card and not sell it off until the sets come in the game. Because let's say, for example, you need like 90 to 91s to do a set. Well, the price of those cards is going to go up and it's going to go up quickly. So it's going to be imperative that you have held on to those cards and you can either use them in the set or you can sell them off and make a fair bit of coins. So we're going to be holding on to players if we have them in our binder. I actually should probably take down these auctions and keep these 89s for myself. I'm going to do that right now. Uh, that was kind of a mistake of me to sell these off. So yeah, for really any of your 88s to like 94s, I'd hold on to those players. If their prices go up drastically when the team of the year sets come in the game, then you sell them off, then you take your coins. Now, next up, fellas, let's move on to talk about holding on to training. As you guys can see, I've got like 300k training right now. And if you guys have any training in this game, do not spend it right now, boys. If we take a look at like the training section of the store, it is booty, man. All the packs in here are terrible. You're not getting a good training rate at all. And there's not really any reason to spend it on these packs when we consider the fact that we're probably going to be getting a team of the year reroll very, very soon. Okay. Now those are the two ways we can prepare without really doing much. Like holding on to cards, simple. Holding on to training, very simple. Now let's talk about something we can do to proactively invest in the market and hopefully make coins. Now, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm kind of predicting that there's going to be increased value for players in the market because of the fact that A, they could be required to go in team of the year sets or B, they could be used for training, which can then be rerolled into team of the year players. And since I'm expecting there's going to be a little bit more demand for these cards, let's talk about potentially investing in some players now and then selling them off in a couple days. Now, as you guys can see right here, as we take a look at like the training spreadsheet in this game and we scroll on down to our cheapest training by overall. What I kind of want to do is point out some overalls in here that can be decent for investing in from both a investing in training standpoint, as well as investing in cards that could go into set standpoint. We're going to try and find overalls in this game and find prices in this game that kind of fit both those criteria. So that way we're kind of like getting two birds with one stone and kind of covering our bases in, in case EA Sports maybe changes up the sets or changes up the training packs in this game. But as long as we have one of those, we should be good with these investments. Now, overalls and prices that I kind of like targeting, I'm kind of going to be looking for the low end 90s in this game because I feel like with low end 90s in this game, people are more willing to get those cards for training. If we invested in like 87s, people don't really buy those cards for training because it just takes too long to buy them all up. And there's not really as much opportunity for profit since people aren't really willing to spend the time to buy up all those 87s at a good price when they're rolling training packs. So that's going to kind of leave us with the low 90s market in this game. And looking at a couple overalls right here, I think my favorite two to target are 93 and 92s. Both cards right now are both overall, sorry, right now are really, really nice when it comes to value in the market. They're currently some of the cheapest cards in this game. So if we can invest in like 93s at maybe 55k, 56k, I'm assuming you can snipe those cards at that price or maybe 92s at like 35k. I think those are decent investments. Now, obviously it's fully up to you guys as to how much you want to actually invest into those cards. My coins are really low right now because I'm just going to be completing the Darius Slay set here today or tomorrow. And then I might use some of those coins. I get back from selling off this player to make some investments in 93s and 92s. Again, that's up to you though. If you really want to go hard in those investments, I honestly don't think it's a bad idea because again, the market is likely going to go up a little bit, whether we either get sets that require 92s or whether there's a training peg in this game and people are buying 92s for training. If one of those two things happen, then the price goes up. So
So yeah, if you guys want to make investments, not a bad idea. And hopefully you have enjoyed this video, kind of giving you some context about Team of the Year. And I'm out. Peace.